it's very important to the state in terms of the growth of our agricultural sector. That was why when we came on board and we saw that there was need for counterpart funding, we met our governor. Our governor who has taken agriculture as a major focus in the administration, decided to now come in and take down the counterpart fund. Take down the counterpart fund of seven years. That six years are and so it is for us to understand how serious and how agriculture, what agriculture means to him. He understand. In his vision, he wants to ensure that we make another agricultural system. He wants to try and ensure that we add value to what the farmers are producing. And that is what ATAP stands for. And ATAP also stands for so many other things. Because we saw infrastructure, we saw them provide hospitals. Sort of provide seats in, in schools, you know, build uh, 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 schools for our rural uh, communities, mm-hmm. build bridges, you know, access roads and uh, so we are so happy to that uh, And to I assure uh, uh, um, um, to promise you that every you know counterpart fund that is going to be paid in order to bring projects, agricultural projects to Enugu State, the government will pay. So, just to assure you that um, on all the issues that you have raised about the uh, distribution of agriculture used to purpose, we are on top of it. So, uh, we begin at the end of the month for early uh, uh, March, and then uh, for about six, uh, about, uh, is it 8,000 farmers in the Ibu state? Uh, and then uh, for the land development, we have also said it to the government for their own objection. And I want to tell you that the Federal Ministry of Finance is supporting us you know, to accomplish this uh, uh, at as one yes. and also to go to at as two. Yes. I'm sure uh, Dr. Kade is here. She's giving us all the support that is required, you know. The federal government has refused to pay. Sure. And you know, ATAP is one of the projects across the state's seven state right? yeah. that we are currently in factory. <coughs> that really touched life. This is not my first time of coming here. I've been by Daniel yeah. Mo. And we were so pleased with the way people have bought house, you know, based on the infrastructure that has been provided for them. And young people are very accommodating. Based on market forces at that time and market prices at that time, unfortunately, I don't know, due to negligence or whatever, some contractors have not mobilized to sign as a window. Some, you know, use the COVID-19, you know, as an excuse, and then they delayed mobilization to site. Uh, that delayed mobilization to site has actually affected performance because of the hyper population. The prices of commodities and other items, you know, that have been uh, marked by who the contract was uh, awarded were double, triple, and even quadruple in today's Nigerian market. That must also be taken into consideration as a hindrance where, you know, the performances are low. All the same, I believe there will be value for money on the ground, and there will be objective assessment of the situation, objective assessment of both the achievements, the challenges, and then we weigh the two, then to keep the way forward. So far, so good. You know, we are here not to which hunt anybody. You know, physical verification, auditing, mission, whatever, we are not a witch hunt. Mission. I want to thank the uh, Ministry of Finance for mounting this mission. Because most of the time, I like missions like this because they are problems solving ventures. Um, you say you have problems, they see you have problems, and they advise you on how to go it. If you follow it, your problems are solved and you go forward. So that is what it is. Now we are here, we are going to show them, you know, presentation, our uh, implementation progress report that is also including, you know, the success and also success stories and also the problems there are in, so that we move forward. Uh, it is very important that we achieve a part one this year, if possible, so that we can be able to move forward.
on Atap Stone because everybody, the mere agitation for Atap to Atap Stone is an indication that uh, already Atap One is a success. But as the uh, Dr. Akande has said, it has to be So this is what we are doing. So please, it is very important you expose your problems, you know, and challenges, so that it is going to be counted. And then uh, suggestions, you know, to move forward. Uh, we are going to, uh, I'm happy that the consultants are here. They will help us with some of the challenges. I'm also happy the contractors are here, especially Mr. Sakis. Everybody knows how we go by the uh, pumping station issue. It was really a very big challenge for us and also for the contractor. But Alhamdulillah, things have really gone ahead. You know, it is really it's about to be behind us. God willing, inshallah. So please tell your problems so that uh, 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 Kande and her team and my director PCU will really help us to see that we are through. Thank you very much.